Hello friends, I am Vikram from Easy on Technologies. Welcome to my Spring Project Work series. In this video series, we will talk about the requirement we are going to develop here. So this is the contact application we have selected here to develop. And let's have a quick look about the requirement we will cover up throughout this project. So we are planning to identify some requirement here we we can call it a business requirement document so it's a simple version of the business requirement document where we list out all the task we are going to cover up in this project and we also list out the task which is not being covered here so we identify the uh, scope where in and out both will cover up in means will cover up the things and out means we are not going to cover up the task but it is strongly recommended to keep both the points here so the things which will be covered and the things which will be not covered in the first version probably these things we can cover up in the coming version so uh, identifying scope is very important this will help you to avoid any conflict with your client so this is a small business requirement document so let's have a quick look at the requirements. So the very first point is I'm going to develop this application uh, as a multi-user application because it is a website and websites are multi-user application. So the very first point will be it's a multi-user application and we are going to cover this. It's a scope is in. Now the second requirement is the application will have multiple users and uh, one administrator will be there and a general user can register in the website so we have two different roles here one is admin and second is a general user who is going to register and then manage his personal contacts or phone book now the next point is user registration is required because user will come to our website and create his account then he will manage his personal contacts right and I'm going to cover up this so it's under my scope next both admin and general user will log into the system and probably and I'm going to use a common login form for both the roles now both users can uh, log out using the common strategy and now contacts it comes when it comes to the contact we have to manage it in different way like we can add the contact here we can edit the contacts we can list the contacts we can search the contacts so I'm planning to uh, develop the contact search using free text means you can search using any criteria so just type the text and we will match in all the columns right now we are going to perform here delete records delete contact one by one this is in my scope and uh, there is one more provision we can delete bulk contacts so we will cover up this part also so one by one you can delete records or you can delete bulk items now I'm going to use here one more option which is edit profile and the edit profile uh, will be done for the user and admin but I'm not going to cover up this but uh, we can do this in next version and the profile editing uh, will be used for uh, updating the contacts email address addresses or phone numbers username pass uh, passwords and all but I'm not going to cover up this as I have done here out of the scope and the next part is I'm going to uh, th there is a possibility to add here export the contact or import the contact from outside so there are multiple versions we can use for uh, exports so like PDF we can use Excel file we can use we can create here business card file which is VCF file or CSV files so these are the different file formats being uh, used in industry so this will help you to take the contact from this application to some different application for example you can import the contact from our application to gmail so you can export from our application in csv format and you can import in gmail something like this so i'm not going to develop this it is out of my scope and now the administrator user can see all the contacts here for uh, uh, administrator can see all the user list so that the user can uh, the admin can manage the account like uh, suppose someone is misusing the system admin can block that account 
so this is the 14th point user admin can see all the users registered users and in the next point admin can block the account or activate the users right and I'm going to cover up some basic security in this uh, application so this is these are the tasks I'm going to cover up throughout this course and few important reference links you have to follow here so let's have a look at the important links you have to check before uh, moving to the next video now look at the links so this is the link from my blog so you have to check the process how we develop the application how to initiate the application development I wrote here small document step by step document you just go through all these points so this will help us to uh, move on to the next videos and now this is first point you have to uh, go through and the next point is you have to check our website and here I have listed steps so this is dive into our development process so it's a another small document you have to go through so this will cover up the strategy to uh, develop the customized application then it is about designing phase and then come to the development then quality assurance and then deployment and support so these are the steps we have to do one more important thing I have discussed here which is what is the role of the uh, technical people or the development team and what is the role of the stakeholders so what customer will do here and what are the uh, responsibility of the developers so both parties has to engage side by side to get best results in the project so these two links you have to visit and check the details so this is enough for this video in next video we'll uh, talk about more things on the project work thank you very much for watching